coming, everybody. This is my band. I affectionately call them the Lady Boners. Uh, what? Uh, as, as you heard, we're going to be back with Girls, 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 August 5th through 12th. Um, uh, you guys, this show um, basically came about because I'm the father of three girls. Uh, I have three sisters. I have a wife. I have an ex-wife. I have a mother. I have a mother-in-law. I have 17 nieces. Even my dog is a girl. And so I started to sort of explore uh, a few years ago as some of the relationships in my, with the, the females in my life started to become, shall we say, strained. And so I did some research into sort of archetypical women's uh, psyches. And, um, and I looked at... Um, I, I looked at some Greek deities at the behest of a friend of mine and some Jungian psychology, and so I, I sort of started trying to I, I, I educate myself on, on sort of what Jung would call the collective unconscious, you know, these common denominators that are in, under everyone in psyche, and so I started with the Greek deities. I started with Hera. Now, if you're going to talk about Hera, queen of Olympus, wife of Zeus, um, the Romans called her Juno, right? Um, she, uh, she is the, the patron goddess of love and of marriage. Um, Hera gets a bad rap. Think of Hera as being sort of the first woman who sort of puts her job aside for her man, right? Um, let me tell you about how she was born. Hera's mother is Metis. Her father is Cronus. Cronus eats Metis. This is what the Greek gods do with a lot of their women. They take away their power for a child. They just eat them up. And, um, and so, um, and, and, and Cronus births. Hera, and he doesn't even want her. He ships Hera to be raised by two fairies in the wilderness. Now, you know what happens to a woman when she's raised by two fairies in the wilderness, don't you? I mean, she knows how to dress and she can throw a fucking party, but the issues, you know, the issues with the, not because they're fairies, because they're in the wilderness, no one will come to the parties. So in lieu of this really untraditional upbringing, Hera wants to run a tight ship. Um, she expects her husband Zeus to be three things. Kind, productive, and faithful. Zeus fails at all of them because he cannot keep his fucking lightning bolt in his pants. It's really pissing her off. People think she's a nag. The hair is not a nag. She has misplaced her power. She has an unrecognized thirst to get that power back. I've been in and out of every honky tonk in town. Big old pink limo. I just draw. 